All right, this one's going in the creek. So as I opened up the canopy just before, the first thing I saw was this gas strut here, just floating in the breeze. Do you want to just go walk it past I'm and not feel that? that. Come on, where's your sense of adventure? Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. If you've been following along, you would have seen the end of last week's video, we crossed the famous Pentecost River. And in this one, we are hitting the major dirt section of the Gibb River Road. We are a little bit nervous, but also excited. We've only had our new caravan for about 10 weeks, so we are really putting it to the test. We have just done the first stretch about half an hour and mind you half of that was bitumen we were very surprised we went over these ranges and for about 10 minutes we were on the, um, on the blacktop which was actually quite nice i'm just going to pop in the van and check everything i mean my biggest concern is just a cupboard opening and just stuff lying everywhere it's, every, it's just so nerve-wracking oh i mean i think we're right that's what I forgot, the old air fryer thing. What is that, drip tray? All right, I will have to find a home for that. We're sweet. So the biggest carnage so far is the air fryer drip tray has fallen out and the loofers have fallen off the shower hooks. Crazy. I know, I shouldn't talk like this. Touch wood, everything is gonna be amazing, but it's just uh, first time really putting our new caravan to the test. So we just wanna be super cautious. I've just gone around and done my checks also. I've just taken off the torsion bars. We normally have them on when we're highway driving, but they just seem to be clonking around too much. So it might just give the van a little bit more freedom. Um, all the tire pressures, we put them down last night. They're all at about 30 pound. So by the time they heat up, they should be about 30 to 35 which should be pretty good for any corrugations and bits and pieces. Now we think we have been through one of the roughest patches already. Fingers crossed, always <laughs> fingers crossed. Um, so everyone that we've been talking to the last few days have said around Home Valley before the ranges, I think it was, it's very like shaley, feels like an old dried out riverbed. And that's what we've just been through. And so far since we've come over the ranges, it's kind of chilled out a little bit, so. Yeah, so hopefully it stays that way. We're not too sure, but we're keen to check it out anyway. Okay, bad news, had the drone up, crashed it. So now I've got to go find it up in the hill here. Hopefully it's not too far away. Do you just want me to stay here? Yeah, you can stay here. With the car running? Yeah, you're all right. Okay, now to go find it. It's up there somewhere. The good thing about the drone is, you can see on here, change the direction, see where it is, so it's up there. What you can also do with your drone is put it into find my drone and start it beeping and flashing. So hopefully we'll start to see it soon. We're getting close. Okay, I think we're on, we can hear it. Oh, there it is. Oh, I got you buddy, you took a tumble. I must've got pretty unlucky. I'm right on the tallest part of this little hill. And I don't know if I've just snagged this tree here or I've got one of these other ones and it's landed out in the open here. That's right, time to test it and see if it flies still. Okay, managed to fly it back. The gimbal's in a little bit of strife, so that might be something I have to fix or try and reset. Who knows, but I managed to fly it back to the caravan, so it was one less thing to carry. 
Well, I'm sure lots of you have seen collagen-based products on your social media. I definitely have, and it all seemed a little bit overwhelming, but I've always wanted to try it. So when the Collagen Co reached out, I was definitely happy to give it a go. They have sent me out this awesome goodie box to try a few of their flavors. One of the first things I noticed was how pretty the packaging is. And then you've got these awesome little pre-packaged sachets. So these have got 15 grams of collagen in them. You can take them once or twice a day. The Collagen Co make premium high quality products and they are committed to helping customers glow from the inside out. Now there is a few flavors in this box. My favorite that I've tried so far is the strawberry and watermelon and the one I'm gonna try today is passion fruit mango I haven't given that one a go yet these are super delicious and there's also an unflavored one that you can add in smoothies um, that way you can get your collagen in and you wouldn't even know it's in there if you're unsure what collagen can do for you here's just a few off the box reduces fine lines and wrinkles increases skin hydration promotes thicker and healthier hair and a brighter complexion if you'd like to get your hands on anything from the collagen co website make sure to use our discount code adventure 10 we will pop all the details in the description below the video we're coming up to the jurak river we actually just had a look at a couple of the campsites overlooking the river but they're a bit dry and dusty and it's still a little bit early in the day so we're going to go head across the jurak river and on to ellenbray station did you want to put the drone up bryce yeah Unfortunately, I haven't checked the drone out yet. I'm pretty sure I broke the gimbal, but uh, fingers crossed I can <laughs> make it work for the meantime and hopefully get some footage still. I really wish there was someone else crossing this river before us, just so we can kind of see how deep it is and pick a bit of a path. Some friends we made last night did actually tell us that all of the crossings that they've been through were like maybe sidestep. So I think we're pretty good. I think. Do you want to just go walk it first I'm and not then film walking it? that. Come on, where's your sense of adventure? Let's go. Alrighty, let's go. I should be getting you to drive these through. I don't think it'll be very deep. No, nah, I don't think so. Oh. One way to find out. <laughs> With these water crossings, we're putting it into four low and just crawling all the way through. Just gives you a little bit more control and you can take it real easy. And I'm loving this tire pressure monitoring system. I've been watching this. We've got caravan tires at 33 and 31. Ellenbray Station, let's go. Why does he insist to keep driving when he knows I have to run and catch up? <laughs> Getting my exercise for the day. So as I opened up the canopy just before, the first thing I saw was this gas strut here just floating in the breeze. It's actually hanging like that. So hopefully it hasn't done any damage to anything and it just needs to just needs to chuck a nut back on it and tighten it back up. Yeah, bit of a tickle should be right. We will keep you all posted as things go wrong because all right, it's the fun of doing the gib, I guess. Alrighty, we're all set up at camp now. We are at the Ringers camp. They have two camps, there's Jackaroo and Ringers. Ringers is closest to the waterhole, so you can walk down there. And this place seems fantastic so far. They're super dog friendly. So we can actually take juice to all of the water holes and gorges that we're gonna go to, even up to the cafe to go get, uh, get a scone. And um, yeah, the first leg of the gib has been pretty uneventful. The only things that have happened is we've lost some stuff out of the freezer. Yeah, it just ended up on the floor and got a bit gross and dirty. Uh, a few that's... wood shavings on the, on, yeah. in the bottom there. And then the only other thing was one of the gas struts on the fridge slide has undone itself, but with a little bit of Loctite and a couple of shifters, that one's all fixed. Now, the reason we didn't stay at the station before this, which is Home Valley, um, was because they charge you for dogs. And guess how much they charge you for dogs? Pause the video right here and chuck your guess in for what they charge for dogs, because it'll knock you over. So they charge $20 for a dog. 
per doesn't, night. Per night, yeah. It doesn't matter if it's this big or this big, they charge the same. But they also only charge $15 a night for kids. So get that. Yeah. So strange. And you can't take your dog in the pool to the playground or anything. So you're like, what are you what are you paying for for yeah. your dog? And we were gonna go unpowered and it's still twenty dollars a night, even no power or water. So what's he gonna use? It's so stupid. Yeah, the other thing with Home Valley is that you could only check in after one o'clock. So where we were we're at the Pentecost, I think it was what? 10 minute drive down the road. Yeah, it, wasn't very far. it wasn't very far. So we would have had to hung around until 12.30, um, gone over there and parked up to wait. And it sort of just, I don't know, felt like waste of a day. So instead we're here, Chelsea's just doing some cleaning and we're gonna go check out Ellen Bay Station. I know it's so silly, but I just, I, I'm such a neat freak and I don't like things being dirty. Oh, one more thing. There's a little bit of dust down here. Come in from the door and buy a little bit. It's probably a fair bit. But guess what? Nothing the vacuum can't mm -hmm. fix. When we got here, this place was really nice. It was quiet, it was relaxing. And after about lunchtime, it started to get real busy. We got generators cranking, air compressors cranking, cars screaming around. And we should have just taken the uh, guy at reception's advice. He said, one campground gets, um, is pretty nice, pretty quiet. And the other one gets crazy. It turns into bedlam. When we got here, we thought it was nice. But uh, little did we know, later on in the afternoon, it turns into a madhouse. On the station here at Ellenbray, there is another swimming spot and it's called Sandy Gorge. It's about a two kilometer sandy four drive track and uh, we're gonna go have a look. After a 500 meter walk on this sandy track, it's just opened up and we can see the big swimming hole and gorge. It's only about nine o'clock in the morning. We're not gonna go for a swim because it actually hasn't heated up too much yet. Well, look at that. We thought we'd come for a look and then uh get a bit of an appetite for some scones, eh? This is a really nice spot. We actually might have to come back later for a swim, like a proper swim. Yeah. We've worked up a bit of an appetite after our walk, so we're going to go head to the station and get some scones. Ellen Bray's known for their scones, but we're going to put it to the test and see if they're as good as everyone says. Chuck some uh, butter and Vegemite on them, what do you reckon? Nah. Butter and Vegemite on scones? Yeah, of course. It's criminal. Ah, that's the Australian way. Good thing I'm not going to have much cream because they're on rations here. Holding out. Holding out on us. It might be more than what it looks like. I hope so. <laughs> Alright, moment of truth here. They're fresh. Are they good? Yeah, yeah, I reckon they're pretty good. I mean, I probably haven't had scones since maybe Ballara Station like three years ago, so yeah. got nothing to really compare to either. <laughs> as good as your granny would make you? Grannies are always better.
We are out of Ellenbury Station this morning. You can actually fill up with water here. Well, it's a little bit slow, but I mean, we're in the middle of the outback, so what do you expect? We are only driving, I think about an hour today, obviously depending on what the road conditions are like. I think it's meant to be a little bit of a snotty patch out here. It's pretty corrugated, I think for about the next 20 or 30 Ks. And we're on to the Gibb River Free Camp tonight. We have lucked out at the moment. We must be following the grader or something because the road is like a bitumen highway. This thing's better than the Bruce. <laughs> That's not hard. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, super smooth. Been able to sit on about 75, 80 and just cruising along at the moment. All's going well. Now, mind you, it was pretty rough when we came out of Ellenbray this morning. Even the road just out of Ellenbray on the station property was rough. And then for, what do you reckon? 25 minutes yeah um, somebody had done a tire on the side of the road um, but anyway once we got through the snotty patch we pulled over we checked everything did a walk around and now sweet sailing we are only 10 minutes away from camp uh, we'll let you know once we're all set up okay I'm a little bit out of breath because I've just ran back from where Chelsea is we've just got to the Gibb River camp and we found an awesome spot so it should be really good I think I'm, there's someone pulled up behind me so I better get out of the way Alrighty, oh, let me show you this perler of a spot. It's about 10 o'clock, so we're not even here too early and we've just snagged probably the best site here. Have a look at this. We've got riverfront views that we can go for a swim in. Nice shady spot for the afternoon. Juice gives it the tick of approval. But yeah, done pretty well, I reckon. <laughs> look at the muck mat. So this muck mat is on the low step. That one just there. I've just ripped it off and it is thick with mud, yeah. but no need to fear. We have a lovely creek down here that we can do some washing in. Yeah, that Chelsea's going to be out there with the washing board, <laughs> doing my undies and stuff. Am no, I? Good. Yeah, I'm not. I've got, got a pile bloody starting to get pretty big in there. You better get to work. Great. All right, this one's going in the creek. Got everything here, at least to stay alive. Check this out, Riverside. People paid heaps for this, and it's all free. Wrap up, coming in. Go get break. This Gibb River camp is so beautiful. Everyone is literally camped up right next to this awesome swimming hole. Apparently everyone swims here and it's totally safe. And there is plenty of people out at the moment. Thanks so much for watching another video. If you've liked this one, make sure to like and subscribe. We are gonna be continuing along the Gibb River Road next week. And also a huge shout out to the people that gave us a super thanks this week. I've got to read them again because there's so many of you. Wayne and Melissa, Matt Nielsen, Clinton Michaels or Michelle's, I'm not sure if I got that wrong, <laughs> Diana Fraser and Laurie Schultz. We really appreciate the support. Make sure to drop us a comment below and we'll catch you next week.